had uh, apprehensions that the ISI was unhappy with him and would eventually move to eliminate him. He had specific threats from the ISI? Uh, that's what he says. And uh, I think there is evidence that the ISI was unhappy with some of the things that Hamid Mir was uh, expounding. What were some of the issues <coughs> which may have upset the ISI? One of the main issues was obviously the, the trial of General Musharraf. Um, we know that he was a usurper according to the uh, Supreme Court of this country, that he, was, uh, he had acted unconstitutionally in taking power and then imposing the emergency subsequently, sacking the judges and so on. His stance on the, uh, the disappearances that were taking place in Pakistan uh, often, uh, you know, it is alleged uh, because of the security agencies a lot of people have disappeared uh, without trace and uh, there was agitation in Pakistan about these people. I think Hamid had a very clear position on that. So it might have annoyed some of the security agencies. Now for ISI to be <coughs> unhappy with a certain journalist or a newspaper is one thing, but to go to the extent of trying to eliminate them, that's a very serious allegation. It is, an, it is extremely serious, but it's, you know, it's an allegation that has happened in the past as well. Um, the ISI has been named by other journalists. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it, it's a whole spectrum. There's intimidation, there's threats, there's, uh, you know, uh, an attempt to censor, uh, control the mindsets, uh, operate in an atmosphere of fear. And uh, finally, sometimes, journalists have been picked up, they've been abducted, they've been beaten up, and uh, in a number of cases, people have lost their lives. But never before, Geo News, just the main news channel uh, in Pakistan, <coughs> has taken on the ISI in this <coughs> manner. Do you feel you're on a collision course with Pakistan's most powerful agency? I, I, I should hope not. I think uh, confrontation or collision is not the intention. There is a, a respect for the armed forces, a respect for the ISI as well, uh, as a frontline institution. But at the same time, um, whenever it encroaches, on human rights or if, if there is evidence that it is uh, indulging in activities that aim to control the freedom of expression. We have this saying in Pakistan that there is freedom of expression here but very little freedom after expression uh, and it seems to be you know, something that has happened recently in the case of Hamid Veer.